Hello to Good Gardening Buddy Carol, and I'm coming to you from the library instead of the sunroom because I wanted to show you a super geeky, nerdy way that I'm going to track all of my gardening activities this year. Yes, I've discovered Trello, which is a web application that allows you to keep track of pretty much anything you want to keep track of. And uh, it's basically, as you can see, a board with a series of lists that you can create. And so I'm going to show you what I've done to create a gardening Trello board. Let me hide myself. So here we go. The traditional thing of stuff to do. And then when you decide, hey, I've got stuff to do, then you move it over here to I'm doing this stuff. And then when it's done, you move it over. And so I did plant my violas. They're done. I planted my pansies. They're done. And I could click on this thing. And if I wanted to add a note that said completed on March 9th, I could do that, save that for history, or just mark it done. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't even have to have something on the doing this week list to get it done. And so I did sow my seeds for sweet peas. I actually sowed them today. And I would like to keep track of what day I sowed those. So I'm going to open that thing up. And there is a due date here, and I'm going to change that to the 10th instead, save that and uh, mark that complete. So there you go. And now I show that March the 10th is when I sowed those seeds. So the other things I'm going to do, I'll ship over here. This is a list, and every time I think of stuff that I have to do, I'm just going to add it to the list, then figure out when I'm going to do it. So these are special projects I want to do. And uh, I can add this, you know, I like to put a planting by the mailbox. I don't have one. There's a bed by the sunroom that always needs work. I'm going to try to get some things planted in there, et cetera. And I can just keep adding cards to my heart's content. Um, the next one is plants to review. And as a garden writer, I often get plants and seeds to review. And it's hard to keep track of them sometimes. So I decided that I would just keep adding them to a board. So far, the All America Selections has sent me some lovely seeds. And so I decided I would create a board and um, here's one for watermelon that I'm gonna grow. And I've decided I wanna review it around September 1st. I put a link to the product on their website so that I could uh, easily get to that when the time comes to write about it. And this is exciting. So they also sent me a lovely Xenia Perfusion Red Yellow Bicolor. So I went out to their website and I grabbed the picture and uh, you can just click on cover and then add the picture. And so I can see what it looks like and that'll be fun. And I decided to review that on July the 15th. And then I've got plants I want to grow. And so I've listed a couple of plants that I've got my eye on. Um, and this shows that you can add color. So I made the cover a color. This is a yellow flower, obviously. And I made a note where I could actually purchase it if I can't find it someplace locally. I do like to buy plants locally. So then I've got my, I'll call them my 2021 list of vegetables that I'm planting, perennials that I'm planting, seeds. And um, seeds is kind of where I park my seed list. Uh, a lot of the seeds will end up either as a vegetable or as an annual. And so I did have a seed list on Excel, also a very nerdy, geeky thing to do. And so it allows you just to put a link to anything you want. So you add an attachment, it gives you all these, you can get it from your computer, from another Trello board, Google Drive, any of these places, um, you can attach those links. So there is that. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you was uh, special project kind of thing. So bulbs to order and plant. And what I've done is I've gone around and as I see bare spots, so for example, this is an area in the front. You can't tell, but over here, there are tons of different crocuses blooming. But this spot is really rather bare. I think that I could plant some um, crocuses through there. So I've made a note to plant those and the picture will help guide me where to plant that in the fall. So when it comes time to plant, I can pull up. I don't have to go scrolling through all my pictures. It's right here. And so I've done that. And uh, I have a picture here I can add. And then I'll just keep adding to this. And when it comes time to 
to order bulbs, I can just do that. And then by the way, when I'm done with this card, I can archive it, get rid of it because I've ordered everything. Um, I can move the list. You can actually move it to another board. And so when it comes to the 21 things, when I'm getting ready for 22, if I'm still using Trello, and I don't see why I wouldn't be, I can just take all these lists and I could move them to a 21 board so that I could use it for historical purposes. So anyway, that is what I'm doing with Trello to keep track of my gardening activities. Um, maybe there's some other people out there doing the same. If you've got any ideas for me, uh, shoot me a list and uh, leave me a comment and I will uh, see if it's something that I wanna do. Anyway, that's Trello for Gardeners. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and all that kind of good stuff. Bye now.